and welcome back to the excitement that is a room full of snakes. So in case you don't know, I breed lots of snakes, keep them privately and all that. I do have snakes available for sale. So if you message me on social media, I can tell you what I've got available. I don't sell them in a retail shop though. So it's all private and you need a reptile license if you're in Australia. If you're not in Australia, we can't sell to you because Australian law, you can't export. But we have quite a few children's and spots about to lay. Everything is super, super late this year. So that there is a children's python. So that's a ghost children's. Ghost children's means that it just makes noises at night. Ooh, well, it doesn't really. It just means it's got like a pale color to it. Occasionally, it's just a children's python. But yes, she is underneath her aspen bedding and she's about to lay eggs. So probably about a week or so to go. So usually everything has laid eggs and hatched by now. It takes them about 60 days or so to hatch, so 50, 60 days depending on the temperature. All these are very, very late. So not every single one of these has a female python that's about to lay in them. I'm not breeding hundreds of snakes again. I think there's like about 11 or so. But that girl there, she is very close. I think we have a Stimpson's python. So this is a wheat belt Stimpson from Western Australia. And she is coiled in her log, but she is due to lay in the next week or so as well. As I said, everything is very, very late. We are going to jump to another one that has just laid in a second. But I think this Stimpson's Python here is looking really, really awkward. She is probably just laying today. So when they coil in weird sort of things like that, I think that's a Normington Stimmy. Yeah, she's going through the whole laying thing. So I'm not gonna disturb her by taking the little log up or anything like that. Oh, is that her head? Is that her head? Oh, there she is. There she is. Who is a pretty girl. It's a pretty girl. She's a pretty girl. She knows it. She is about to lay. But what we will do is jump to one that's already got eggs, show you how we incubate them and go from there. And we have torchlight but we have the first python on eggs. So this is a children's python. So it's called a marbled children's python. She has just finished laying her eggs. So there is an egg over there that is dodgy, but she seems to be coiled around a whole lot of eggs. So not very impressed that I'm talking in front of her right now, but we are going to gently get the eggs off her and we're gonna pop her in a tub. And it is dark and we're still using the torch, but that is her eggs. So gently taking the eggs off her, we're artificially incubating them. So pythons will wrap around their eggs and maternally incubate them for about 50, 60 days for these children's pythons, uh, depending on the temperature and that. But that is what the eggs are like. They are quite a soft egg, so they're different than bird eggs. So they're soft shelled. Uh, we're incubating them in perlite, which is this white stuff here. Um, as well as being reptile eggs, or as well as being reptile eggs, the main difference between them and your bird eggs, uh, you don't want to rotate the eggs. So once they're in, you don't want to move them. Uh, the little embryo, there's like a little air pocket that attaches to the top of the egg. So if the eggs turn over, that can actually suffocate and kill the egg. But it looks like she has 17 eggs. There was two, the one down the bottom and the one over there to the right that weren't in the main group. So when pythons do that and they lay and there's a couple of eggs separate, usually those eggs are not fertile or something dodgy is gonna happen and the snakes just kinda know. So we're just gonna leave them separate. So there is a little gap there, if you can see. And yeah, if they go bad, we can just remove them. But otherwise, they're going in the incubator and we've got about 50, 55 days before they hatch. And then we have some little children's pythons. Hurrah. So it is a couple of days later, the eggs have been in the incubator for a few days. So you can kind of tell the two eggs that were laid separately are not looking that great. So if I can turn them around without upsetting them. So that's the two on the right. So the one right at the top and the one down the bottom. So don't expect those to survive. The other ones seem okay. So that one at the top is dimpled a little bit, but should come good. But that is pretty much what healthy eggs should look like. So they are just in a temperature controlled fridge. Uh, yeah, there's other eggs in there as well. They're just some scolaris, so lizards, but they will stay in there for about 52, 53 days. Why is my lid not on properly? 
now it's on properly. Um, you want enough condensation that you can see a little bit like that, but you don't want it completely dripping wet. So see how this got a little bit of condensation on the lid? We'd wipe that so it doesn't hit the eggs if that happens in there. Uh, it's all relative to how much water you put in your vermiculite or your perlite, which is this stuff here, which just retains the humidity and yeah, stops the eggs from drying out. Anyway, if you like this video, I'm going to try and keep it quick and then I can post more reptile videos if you like. Uh, click the thumbs up so I know. If you want to see more reptile stuff, go there. And if you want to subscribe, subscribe with that little button. And we will see you in the next reptile or fish video. Hurrah!